After seven years and over 200 appearances and around 21 goals, I think Alexander Kolarov is no longer a Manchester City player. He's joined AS Roma for £6 million uh, and he's joined the, his old team's former rivals, Lazio. That's quite a bold move for a pretty bold guy, if we're being totally honest. He's never really been scared of a challenge. He's gone and joined a very fierce rival of his ex-club, which will probably cause a little bit of trouble there. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit of a video about Mr. Kolarov after the Danilo one this morning. I'll be honest, this is probably not going to be the video for massive kind of sentimental messages i'm not that kind of person towards color i think he's been a very mixed signing i do got, i've got a lot of respect for him what he's achieved here in general he's been a fun player a decent bloke and the occasion has given us plenty to cheer about but on the, on the flip side he's also been highly frustrating at times but i want to talk about the transfer in general with him a little bit of good luck what it means for manchester city uh, and just discuss the kind of the impact of this move. Well, we have basically now uh, got no fullbacks, <laughs> left back. Obviously, Mendy looks like he's going to sign tomorrow. But at the moment, he also means we've got one less centre back than we had last season, given the fact that he was so poor left back that he eventually became a centre back last season for Guardiola. And he didn't trust him ahead of Clichy there. And he became like a backup centre back uh, and was basically eased out when the uh, company was back to full fitness. I've got nothing against Alexander Kolarov. I think, in general, he's quite likable. But I think mean, he was nowhere near the level of City required. I think this is the right move. I think we've moved him on at a time uh, where we needed to move on. I think all these fullbacks leaving this summer is kind of symbolic. Something that should have happened a long time ago. And I'm just glad we've got a little bit of a fee from him as well. Six million with a year left, and we only paid about 16 million anyway, seven years later. That's pretty good going, when being honest. That's actually a decent fee. I thought he was going to hang around for a year and leave on a free next season. But. It does feel symbolic that we've got rid of all full fullbacks and we're having this clean sweep, which we desperately needed. Obviously, we've got Kyle Walker and it looks like we're going to have Mendy there. And it looks like Danilo will be basically be able to play on both sides. Maybe we'll be in front of a left back, but it's good to have this overhaul that we do so desperately needed. And what do we lose from Kolarov not being there? Obviously, he's got a wicked left foot. And we lose a lot of experience, I guess. I guess he's quite liked around the squad because he's a funny guy. I mean, we'll all agree with that. He seems to be very uh, adored from his teammates around the clubs. A lot of the fans like him, understandably. Some of the fans hate him because they think he's a bit of a lazy sod. I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I used to find him quite annoying. I used to find the fact that he jogged back a lot uh, and kind of get half hour shift every now and then, mainly under Pellegrini and a little bit under Mancini. It used to bug the hell out of me. But then every now and then you put in a performance where you think, why can't he be like that every single week? But that's what we can't have anymore at Manchester City. We can't have these players who are that up and down. We need to have players who are at it every single week. And you have to give the 110%. Guardiola does not accept anything less than that, as you can tell by the way he's talked to like people like Aguero when he wants them to run. And you can tell by the fact that he will not accept anyone who isn't performing at their peak level. He will rotate to make sure everyone's feeling the sharpest. And Kolarov, even though he did work hard this season, Season, in the past has kind of not say down tools but he has let the team down when the going got tough and we don't need that anymore but he does have my respects I do wish him well because he was a big part of City's transformation from a, a team with lofty ambitions until to one of the biggest teams in world football I know a lot of uh, fans of other teams probably won't agree with that but that's an actual fact whether you like it or not City have trans completed nearly then transformation into one of the, the game's powerhouses and Kolarov was a big part of that for a long time that experience is genuinely hard to replace from the team. We are obviously moving towards a very young team now. The likes of um, Mendy is only a very young lad, early 20s. And obviously, uh, Bernardo Silva, you got, but Jesus, all this lot of stones as well there. The young players, and we're obviously trying to build uh, a, a, the new bunch of people like Colorado, or that whole team from seven years ago that we've been hanging around for ages. We're trying to build the next generation of them who are going to hopefully grow a city and have loads of success. I'll be honest, I, I won't actually miss Colorado. I won't personally. I think it was this was long overdue. Uh, I'm just glad we've got a good free frame. I'm hoping now that we actually probably look at the centre back situation a little bit because that's the one area we're actually all missing now a little bit. I've got a lot of time out of bio, as many of you know, but I don't think he's quite ready. I think he's anything he's, he's stolen a little bit recently. Uh, that leaves us effectively with company who basically has uh, legs made of glass and then stones and Otamendi. Unless we're going to keep Mangala, which personally I would actually do. I don't see the point in loading him out. I'd rather actually Pep had a little bit of time to see if you can get this bit here working a little bit better, get his composure a little bit better because he's got all the physical tools there. I don't want to go into the season uh, with just three senior centre-backs and one of them being to come because that's terrible. That's terrifying football uh, as far as I'm concerned. Denier obviously won't be here as well. Kolarov's gone. 
So we need someone else there. So hopefully, if it's not Mangala, we're going to sign someone. It also means we've only got one left back with Mendy coming in, hopefully tomorrow. Clichy's obviously gone now. And uh, we haven't got many options there. Danilo can play there, apparently. But say there's an injury to one of our fullbacks, it means we haven't got any reserve ones at all, which is a bit of a precarious situation to be involved in. I do wonder if we'll go back in for someone like Bertrand. I do wonder if we'll have someone else, maybe a Grimaldo, or even Turney from Celtic, the young lad was mentioned a while back. But it looks to me like... We might be settling for three fullbacks, which is kind of a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I think it's a little bit all eggs in one basket kind of situation, though it could kind of signal maybe a move to three at the back. We could see that a little bit more this season. But anyway, guys, Kolarov has left. Finally, the he's a bit of a meme, isn't he? In a good way. He's been a fun player to watch. He scored some beautiful goals. He's plenty of passion, which is always good to relate to. I do enjoy a good, aggressive fist bump. Um, and I kind of miss him in a way. Not at the same time, because I think he's uh, one of those people that you view with rose and specs because he's quite detaining. I think he pissed off a lot of people a lot. A lot of the people saying this, sad to see him go. I'm almost certain if you searched their Twitter from about a year and a half ago, they, they could not wait to get the back of him. But that's fine. Football is fickle. I am fickle. I'll do that at times. Uh, but for me, he isn't in the same level as your Zabbers. He's not even close. Uh, he's just been here for a long time, and I can't I like him, but I don't think he's a legend personally. I do wish him well, and I hope he has a great time uh, at Roma. Uh, and I thank him for all the things he's done for Manchester City. But I'm not sad to see him go, I'll be totally honest with you there. But anyway, Alex, you're not watching this, but if you are, good luck. You've been a good person for Manchester City, you've been a good player, and I hope you have plenty of success over there. Now, anyway, as well, there'll be a video from Mendy when hopefully he signs tomorrow. He's landed in uh, LA now, according to the flight trackers that you've all been following on Twitter today. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of Kolarov leaving. Go and check out the Danilo video from this morning. He's obviously sign now as well if you haven't already drop a like on this video um or don't if you don't like the fact that i'm not that upset about it that's just my opinion anyway i'm probably wrong i'm probably often wrong let's be honest but anyway subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you soon